In talking about today's budget, I think it's really important to highlight just how historic it is in that this is the first budget ever to be announced and presented by a female Chancellor. I think that's testament to the amount of progress that the United Kingdom has made and continues to make. Turning to uh, the budget itself, it's a bit of a mixed bag. We certainly welcome a number of the key announcements which are intended to help and support businesses, particularly with regards to international trade. The announcement of the new custom sites within the existing free ports is hugely positive, including the announcement of additional support to Celtic Freeport. These are initiatives that we feel are going to make a significant impact in attracting inward investment into the UK and helping to address not just business growth, but also the UK's productivity issues. The Chartered Institute of Export and International Trade made a number of key submissions to the Treasury in advance of the budget, particularly around the needs of MSMEs, micro, small and medium enterprises. So we're very pleased to hear about the Digitalisation Support Fund, the £4 million that's being offered to support MSMEs as an initial trial. We'll begin to address the gap between ambition and potential for businesses, the MSME community particularly, to access digitalization, digital trade and the use of e-commerce and marketplaces. And indeed, as chair of the e-commerce trade commission, we submitted a report to the Treasury in September which highlighted a number of key issues and I'm pleased that Rachel Reeve, the Chancellor, has picked those up. The regionalisation agenda is hugely important, making sure that every region and every nation of the United Kingdom has the opportunity to inspire, support, encourage and nurture MSME businesses to grow, particularly in exporting, is essential. You know, the only way we are going to address the UK's ambitious growth potential is by getting more businesses trading cross-borders, more businesses trading internationally. It's hugely positive that £750,000 is being provided to support with the development of Brand Scotland to help businesses grow their international trade and present Scotland even more visibly on the international stage. However, as I said, the budget is a bit of a mixed bag and uh, you know, we've had MSME members contact us already concerned about the impact of the changes to national insurance and what that will mean for them, not only with regards to them being able to recruit or take on new employees, indeed some are concerned about the employees they currently have, but it may also have an impact on businesses' ability to invest, to grow in the future. And we will certainly be taking those concerns and feeding them into the government to make sure that they understand what more needs to be done to help and support, particularly the micro, small and medium enterprises in these difficult and challenging times. The potential impact on wage rises and the affordability will be used by us to input to the government's small business command paper due next year. And we'll be working with CIOE and IT members and also our wider trading business community. Many of the announcements, particularly related to business, link to the already announced industrial strategy green paper, which will be supported by a trade strategy paper to be issued in the beginning of next year. And we will be, again, collaborating and coalescing views and opinions of businesses about what they need to see to really make sure that the industrial strategy and the trade strategy support business need, support our ambitions to develop and grow economically, but also most importantly to achieve our ambitious plans to expand the number of businesses and the amount of business taking place in the export of British services, UK goods, internationally. It's clear in order to deliver the UK government's ambitious growth plans, we need to invest in MSMEs, provide support, advice and guidance to business and most importantly ensure that we've got the skills, the talent and the technology to ensure that we have fair access, equal access and the potential for businesses to grow cross borders. Because it's clear, if we are to achieve this government's ambitions to grow the economy, it can only be done, it only will be done through businesses trading internationally.